you know, I, I reflect it as, we, as, as you all do, and I, I've warned several of these young dads that uh, it's a rough time. <clears throat> uh, but I reflected, and, and really what it came down to was answered prayers. You find out that you're uh, fixing to have a baby. Uh, the first thing you do is you pray, God, just make it a healthy baby. Boy, girl, it is irrelevant. Just make it healthy. And God answered that prayer for us uh, November 13th. And answered it for us three times. So, God, you know, God has has, has been faithful uh, to us. And as time goes and, and as life goes, prayers change. And you, as you guys know, um, you, know you pray that they'll, they'll find the Lord. And, we, and, and that was answered. And eventually, you know, the reality of life is you start praying for a mate. And so we, we prayed for Tanner before we knew Tanner. Um, and, and, and yet God has answered that prayer again for us. Especially when I saw him falling like a baby when I was walking down the aisle. I could tell, I said, he's the man. He is the man for at least. And so our prayer is going to change again. And my prayer is that in 54 years, you guys are able to celebrate like we are not tonight. So here's the answer to prayers. A lot of people think that it's just fate that brings people together. It's not faith. It's a providential hand of God. God saw that it was not good for man to be alone. And he made a help suitable for him and established the right of marriage. So it is ordained that a man shall leave his father and mother and cleave unto his wife and they twain shall be one flesh, united in hopes and aims and the sentiments and all the interests of this present time. Then are ye each given to the other for richer or poor, for better or worse, in sickness and in health, till death shall part you. I, as a minister of the gospel, pronounce you husband and wife. What therefore God hath joined together, let no man put asunder. You may kiss the bride. <laughs> I introduce you to Mr. and Mrs. Tanner Black. I was just thinking this week about okay. <laughs> um, how God had put passions in your heart from young. And I was thinking about how you used to dissect birds in our backyard. And now you're a nurse and how everything comes to fruition. And I was just I'm super thankful for such an encouraging sister you are. And you have such a passionate heart that I have always admired. Tanner, you have such a sweet heart and that we are all thankful for the joy that you have brought our family. And at least we see that every day. The faithful love of the Lord never ends. His mercies never cease. Great is his faithfulness. His mercies begin afresh each morning. I just wanted to remind you guys that his mercies are afresh each morning and he's ready to give his grace to you just to accept that for each other. Julius, <laughs> Danner. Thank you everybody for coming out tonight. Special thanks to Brian Green's parents. Please, we're very excited to be part of our family. Tanner, we're very proud of the man you've become. We know how happy you are to tell that smile on your face. Here's to Tanner with us.
Father, we pray that you would complete this union this evening as we come together. As we commune with you, as we acknowledge your body and your blood, as Tanner and Elise have so desired to make that union, that they be one person in you. In the name of Jesus.